Now to the latest with COVID. You know, Omicron spreads. It continues to strain the healthcare system, but there are some signs of hope here to talk about this evening. You know, doctors are optimistic that the massive numbers getting infected with this variant will put immunity in a place where the pandemic could become an endemic. But how do we get there and what is that going to look like? WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live for us at Atrium Health in Dilworth trying to tackle some of these questions. Chloe, this smacks a lot of herd immunity, which we've heard discussed on and off throughout this pandemic. Do experts still believe this is realistic? Yeah, hey, Vanessa, several experts that we heard from today are cautiously optimistic that we could soon move to the point where the virus is more manageable, manageable meaning that our hospitals are not overwhelmed and case counts are low. But that will be determined by how we as community members act. Many people are suffering from COVID fatigue, ready to put the pandemic in the past. The last two years have been stunning. Um, as we've seen this progression of variants. But this latest variant, Omicron, could help in pushing us closer to the endemic phase when there aren't major surges and the virus is easier to live with. But how quickly we get there depends on how people behave. And doctors say now is not the time to let our guards down. But we need to be aggressively persistent and, um, and make sure that we keep on this trajectory. Omicron is infecting so many people, it's ramping up the population's immunity. Um, I think this added immunity from people recovering from Omicron infections represents an opportunity for us. And that's an opportunity to continue using the safe and effective vaccines that we have to suppress future waves. Masking and distancing will continue to be important, but getting more people vaccinated and boosted could be the key. Because the vaccines that we have, particularly here in the U.S., have excellent safety profiles and effectiveness to prevent severe COVID infections and death. Um, it is actually frightening to think uh, how much bigger the toll of COVID-19 would have been without these vaccines. The doctors that we heard from today all emphasize that it is still too early to return back to some of our normal behaviors that will keep us from moving forward into that endemic phase. Plus, when we do get there, if we do get there, people who are at risk, at higher risk, will still have to be really careful when we do see cases go up again. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you.